Hi students, it's nice to meet you once again. Uh, today, I think, uh, sorry for not posting so videos for a long time. Uh, today, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start with a commercial peony. See, this is basically uh, very good for beginner bakers, home bakers, commercial bakers. Uh, we are going to do a peony. Uh, it's not very realistic not very out of shape or what do you call yourself as fantasy flower it's in between of it i'm going to teach you so this as it is all of you know that peony is a big flower and uh, just one flower is more than enough to have it in a two tier cake or in between an arrangement okay so here i'm going to start with i'm going to tell you what all i have here uh, i have colored my paste in yellow pale yellow okay i have a peony cutter you can use any kind of a cutter in the market which comes in so most of them works fine I have the vayner the peony vayner then I have this tool this tool is called as a golf tool uh, so I prefer this because like uh, than the Dresden tool which comes in plastic this works very nicely and this curls up beautifully so this bend which is there so this bend which is there so you could see here works very nice so I prefer to have this tool for curling up your edges of your petals then I have the spatula the rolling pin okay and wires I've used here 26 uh, if your hands are like you generally make thick petals then use a 24 so I like to have thin petals because they look very delicate so I use 26 okay so let's start now uh, let me start with the center so the center of the peony I'll show you how to make the center of the peony there are two three ways you can make it see because we are, because we are making it is commercial so there is no need to be very specific on botanics okay so this is that kind of a flower for a beginners there's no need to be so much into detailing of the botanical way see i'll show you some flowers which have already made so even this way you can make the centers yeah see this is one of the peony which i have made here is one of the one more peony which I have made. So there is no need to be very specific with your botanics. So just like that you can do it. Hope you could see this all. It's nice. Yeah. So I'll show you two different centers. A center how to go like this, and the center which generally which has been done in sugar. Take a 26 wire. See, I've taken a 26 wire. Okay, I have done a shepherd hook here. See here. Hopefully, you could see it. This is the shepherd hook. Okay, make a tiny shepherd hook, three of it. Okay, I've done three of it. Now, I'm going to use my white paste. See, generally what I do is to know the size, don't make it very big. The center should be always as small as possible. So if I make one size, okay, I make sure all other two also follow the same size. Follow the same size. So that's the way you get it on equally nice. Just make a nice round shape. And try to maintain all of them more or less the same size. Okay. Just adjust them towards you. 
to that size. Now see, you have three balls of the same size. Okay, now let's start working on it. Okay, what I do here is squeeze up the ball nicely and then try to make a teardrop. Just see the one side. I'm just rolling it one side of the ball. Okay. See, it's to make a teardrop. Okay. Make three, make, sorry, make all the two the same way. Make nice ball first. And make a teardrop. And try to maintain, as I told you, maintain the same size, equal size of that, see. Okay, see that three teardrops have made now. Okay, what I'm going to do is, take your glue, edible glue. Now just enter the blunt side of the teardrop, okay, and pinch and secure here. Like this, okay, make the other two also, hopefully you can see it, yeah. Make the other two also like that. Just enter them. Half the way is fine. But make sure you pinch down so it sticks on. As I told you the same 26 wire you can use for this. No need to go very thin. 26 should be fine. See, always try to close the edges down after you have glued because a lot of students, they forget to do it and when they join, about to join the flower, it just peels off. So, just be careful in joining them. Okay, like this. Okay, next what I do here is Take the edges here, just hold the edge of it and just drag it as much as possible, only the edges, okay. Breaks or anything, it's fine, yeah, like this. Hopefully you could see this. Like this. So you would always see in the thing, center like this so the later will be coloring them so you will know the difference what i'm trying to show you just hold it in your floral pad just the edges don't give too much pressure and break it off center we have this three which we made for the center right made for the center. So what I'm going to do now is use your forceps, have a forcep like this. You can just bend it any side, just one, little bit bend. Go to the edge, hold it at the edge like this. Quick bend. So what happens when I'm going to join, it joins neatly. This is what we are looking for, okay? Now I have cut my tape into two halves. A full tape, I've cut my tape into two halves. So I'm going to tape it tight. 
just be careful here only lot of times like what happens like if you don't dry your do properly it tends to break and the buds tends to come out so just tape it as near as possible here and this is what we need to do so i'm just taping now see once again i'm taping here so as near as possible yes so this is your center okay center bud so now we have pollens coming around all the way okay so for that i have either you can take 3 or 4 depends upon how much filling you wanted so i have this these are the peony stamens see the flat ones yeah i will be able to see now yes the flat ones the rice type ones so what i'm going to do now with that is cut them into two okay i'll let me use a plier okay see i've cut them into two okay like that i'm going to cut all of them first uh let me do it with 3 and let me see so now i have 1 2 and 3 like this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these two to the same level once again the taping what i'm doing here is just hold only in the edge of it and then keep rolling up only the edge okay the tip of the the uh, stem and hold it firm don't come too much inside only the edge see there only the edge hold it firm now tear okay see this this is one bunch we have got now okay like that i'm going to make three bunches so make sure that the top is equal here so and then we work on it so even the down it has some differences it doesn't matter only the edge we need so cover the edge nicely firm like just pull your tape so the glue gets activated now all the three bunches do it like this so tape them firm so then only it's easy for us to join <coughs> okay sorry <coughs> yeah now we have three bunches here right this three bunches what i'm going to do now is see i want the stamens should be covering up the sides covering up the sides in nicely so what i'm going to do here is see this is a tip what you need to do hold your stamens stamens are straight so it will be like this i want it to be opened up so what i do is just hold the edge of your stamen and then press it nicely just press it nicely so it opens up like this so now what i do is i keep it as near as possible now i'm going to tape them this is a bit of a task starting it may be a bit hard for you but once you practice yourself then it's easy to tie the first one alone will be a bit of a task so just hold it formally and then yeah just keep rolling it until you see that it's firmly stuck okay now the second one same like that 
squeeze it nicely down so it opens up like a peacock feathers I'm just I want to keep the next one here it depends upon if your pollens are a little bit bigger uh, so you can even get within the three you can finish but if it is small then it takes another one more set of stamens to fill in so try to work out as much near as possible stretch it and tape them firm as I tell I'm telling you firm because this generally comes out Press it once again on the edges, open up nicely, it opens up, then you keep it here. And dip them once again. Make sure you don't damage your center bud while you're doing this because that is one more thing you need to be careful because I see a lot of them spoil that center but it pops out okay now adjust it accordingly now see your center this is your center right this is beautiful isn't it peony flower now the petals and uh, now I have here you, you can use any cutter whatever you get in your market it's more or less all of them serves the same purpose uh, I have here three petals one is small medium and big so I want to get a decent size of a peony like uh, in that case commercially you can use it so the new bakers also home bakers also can new students who are working on new flowers also can work like this because this is uh, simple and quite fast okay if you want a very big one then you can add on with more petals as I'm going to tell you now see I'm going to make five of this medium sorry five of small six of medium and seven of big okay so you can change yourself if you want a bigger size you can make this around 10 or 12 then you can make this also around six or seven and then the last set you can make around eight or nine so that works to a more bigger size peony but as it is I find this when I make this five or five or six petals of this and then six to seven or eight to nine maximum that itself finds actually a nice size of peony okay so okay now I'm going to show you how I'm going to work uh, I don't use for the wires I directly don't use a veining board or anything I use the Allen Dance method because I'm happy about it and uh, it works for me well so it depends upon what exactly you are using and what exactly you wanted so that depends upon you okay so I use the Allen Dance method so I'm going to show you how to use it make a sausage and then flatten it up a bit go up to the center press and release okay once again go up to the center press and release so now once again I'm going up to the center press and release okay this is a very easy method there's nothing to invest on any boards or anything I know I feel this is one of the easiest way to work on okay now release your top release your top one side now I had told even last time in my video also how to use your cutter see never never wiggle your cutters because one side of the cutters has been sharpened okay you could see one side of the cutter will be sharpened so make sure that sharpened side has been utilized and how to find it you see here the one side which has been cut down is your sharpened side 
that's the side you should be using it so and one more thing is the ridge the ridge what i've made here the ridge here is should be three fourth of any petal okay so three fourth of any petal will work fine so just cut it see i'm not wiggling the cutter and just pressing it and taking it you'll get a neat cut see it's a neat cut so nothing to wiggle it and spoil your cutters never do that especially with asian cutters okay here one more thing is uh i am not using the glue edible glue to work on here because my dough itself is soft and fine enough where it can dry with the wire so i am not using the glue so if you find your dough is bit dry please use the glue okay which this okay now the next thing what i do here is okay see you could see the curls you could see the curls here right so for every single petal it will be all the same see every single petal will be all the same so i just don't want to be like that i i want because none of the petal will look the same so little bit what i'm going to do here is i am going to change the shape of the petals so how i'm going to do this is how uh, just a little bit conflar i will give it both sides now just the edges just with your tool just edges just pull your edges that's it with your golf tool because every petal should look different it should not be the same just only the edges quickly just pull it it comes out neatly with some small small frills okay see this so now i'm going to use my veena a lot of them ask me sir can we use the same peony veena for the rose i will say never because none of it looks uh, none of the flower looks all the same so try to use the same each and every flower has a veena please try to invest in that and use it so it your flower looks more nicer okay now after doing that see i have squeezed this part a bit where it joins up everything so then what i do here is okay only the edges okay go to the edges just pull it up see it curls beautifully see there it curls once again i'm telling you this move for a commercial baker and a home baker so don't expect too much reality in this the reliance realistic by uh, botanical flowers will be totally different so this is now see this squeeze them squeeze them give them some movement can give them some character and see a bit okay right now what i do is i use an apple tray i'll just show you i'm using an apple tray like this see i have the apple trays i have already made some petals and i've just kept it so what i do is i just keep here hold it here and quick bend a little bit that's it okay like this see i've already done some four of it so like that you can do it and keep for five or six the small can go in for five or six okay the medium can go up to seven and the large go to eight or nine don't go more the bigger than this it doesn't look very nice joining the small petals now to the center as i told you for the small petal i have made 5 3 5 okay so i'm going to show you how to join this see hold your petal upside down okay and hold in the edge okay hold in the edge and quick bend so you have this shape where exactly to the wire it gets covered Okay, exactly to the wire it gets bent. See, so there I'm going to join. 
no see this okay like this I'm going to join once again I use a half tape because all these things adds on weight to the flower so I use half tape so the weight of the flower is reduced than using a big tape so like this I cover them by little bit overlapping with each other the second one once again like bend see the same height I'm having hold it here the tape see I see a lot of them also they don't tape for each and every petal it should be taped until the end okay don't be lazy to just to put only the half and then you leave it no what happens your petal starts moving so this is the best way to do it hold your petal quick bend overlap a bit go from the top firm and then come until down of the wire so it doesn't you don't see any wires at all okay. once again hold it the same way I cover them with the hole See, while doing this, make sure your petals are dry. See, for me, because like I use easy paste while working on itself, it's like semi soft, so it bends accordingly to my needs. So I can bend them according to my needs, okay, like this. So now, next is the medium sized petals. Okay, when I go for the medium sized petals, I'll start in between of these two in between of these two petals can you see what I'm trying to tell in between of these two petals I'm going to start there see it's going to be like this once again same bend I'll start in between like that okay after joining after joining the medium petals now this is what is your finish now we have the large so I'll show you how to join the large also the same way in between of any two petals bring the large petal that's the way see this hold it once again the same way quick bend and you can start from anywhere doesn't matter yeah I'm gonna start it with this like this okay so I'm gonna finish off with all the petals which I have and I'll show you how it looks when it's been finished okay the green I'm using a fresh green here just the center just color the bud on oh, edges all the places in the bud edges down huh? don't come to the top okay okay now <clears throat> the top edges alone I'm going to give a nice bright pink. See, I'm using a filbert brushes. They are very nice to use and they are perfectly fits on exactly where it needs to be done. So it, it, please try to use filbert brushes. They are very nice. And see now, see this is the way it is. Beautifully you can just the edges alone <clears throat> yeah it's prank like this you can make it and then what I do is if you want to give a double effect here and there so just go to the 
edges edges of the petals just not everywhere just give a slight touch here and there so it just forms up <coughs> the more the edges are like very fresh no need to do everywhere if you want to do everywhere also you can if you want to give the total double shade so but i just want to give a highlighted so here and there the petals i'm just adding on a bit yeah see this just the edges here and there so if i'm going when i'm doing that so you could see that the petals looks more natural than just being a single color you could see this now see here just a tinge of it don't overdo it it is just a tinge of it i add on either with it's a i'm using a bright pink here you can even use a magenta a plum anything which gives you a bit more lighter effect yeah now you could see the whole peony is been done see the sides i'll show you how to fix up on a cake so i'm going to have and i have an old dummy here i'm going to show you how it can be done also so let me join with some foliage of peony foliage and then i'll show you yeah now i place this this is one method you can place it on see the foliage i've added here so the foliage total i've added here in so and the sides i have just kept it in the sides like this see so this like this you can do it or you can add some berries also down here like that it's between i'm just showing it in a dummy cover it's in a two tier cake a dummy i'm showing it so i've added some three or four foliages and then i've joined the flower on the side okay this is one way to keep the flower see for two tier it's just one flower is more than enough so this size works out very well so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hope to see you guys make this flower like this and keep me posted please subscribe please like my video and please wait for lot more flowers to come bye thank you